recently we lost one of the most versatile, gifted young actors of our time in the person of Chadwick Boseman. I mean, this brother has played multiple roles. And from my perspective, the brother nailed it. Because none of us knew that Chadwick was dealing with cancer. And yet, he, instead of complaining, said, I'm not going to make excuses in my crisis. <laughs> I'm going to make adjustments. Paul said, if I'm going to brag. I'm a brag about him. Amen. What the abilities he has given me to do in the midst of a crisis. 2 Corinthians 12, 7. Look what he says. Uh, so to keep me from becoming proud. That, that, that's what I love about this Chadwick brother is that he said, I ain't about to brag. Uh-uh. I'm about to brag on him. But Paul, he, he prayed to God. It said, so to keep me from becoming proud, I was giving a thorn in the flesh. God allowed this thorn in the flesh to stay there to humble him. He's crying out for God to remove this issue. He did all that. God didn't remove it. Let me ask some of y'all something. You ever had something you want God to move so bad? You're like, Lord, why? I don't understand this. this. This don't make sense to my mind. And God said, to humble you, keep you from being proud. God don't want us to be proud. Where it's a boastful proud or an arrogant proud. The NLT says, thorn in my flesh. But this is what the message says. It says, I was given the gift of a handicap. To keep me in constant touch with my limitations. See, see, Jesus came not for the arrogant. He didn't come for those who think they're so intelligent and so smart. Jesus didn't come for those that's already perfect, that don't want to make a mistake. Jesus didn't come for those who think they're smarter than God. Jesus said, I come for those that are in need of a physician. Uh, in other words, I come for people with handicaps. Uh, oh, you don't hear me. Uh, God said it's a gift. Why? Because the handicap keep you in constant touch with your limitations. Uh, Jesus Christ came not to condemn you, but to set you free. He came to let you know that you can't make it in this world without me. You can't make it, and you got a lot of weaknesses. You got a lot of handicaps. So you might as well stop trying to make your flesh holy and get into Jesus Christ. He is the way maker.